From the outside, all looks calm at the monastery in the Irish town of Roscrea. But inside, there is growing anxiety. When Father Nivard Kinsella joined the monastery 60 years ago, there were 150 monks, and now there are only 21. People are more questioning nowadays. They're ready to question the church and ready to question everything, really. And as a result of all that, I think less people will join monasteries in future. Most of the monks are above the age of 80, and they find it difficult to do all the work that goes into running the monastery. We have to employ a lot more lay people. There is growing consensus that the Irish are no longer devoted to the church, a trend fueled in part by a series of sex scandals involving the clergy in the 90s. At the same time, secular education and growing economic prosperity has gripped Ireland and led many away from the Catholic Church. The number of people who come to pray is declining among the young, especially among the young. I would say uh, the under 40s. A few hours drive from the monastery in the city of Galway, Protestants gather for the Sunday Eucharist. The rector of the St. Nicholas Church says that the Irish are altering the way they practice religion to fit a new environment. People are trying to find new ways, perhaps, or modify old ways in order to deal with the newer freedoms, the economic prosperity which has come, the new allegiances which are actually happening across belonging to like the European Union towards globalization. At the same time, a large number of immigrants from across the world are bringing in their own religions like Islam and Buddhism, making Ireland a religiously diverse country. Every Friday, hundreds of Muslims gather at the Islamic Center in Dublin to pray together. Religious leaders estimate that there are somewhere between 40,000 to 60,000 Muslims from 52 different countries living in Ireland. And so far, they are integrating well with their new neighbors. They will respect my fasting, they will respect my prayer, they will respect my, to all, the, all the religion things, all the Muslim things. While Islam is the third largest faith group after Catholics and Protestants, Buddhism has also made its way into Ireland. Annie La, once an Irish Catholic, converted to Buddhism and became a nun at a Buddhist center. She estimates that there are around 2,000 to 3,000 Buddhists living on the island. Buddhism, although much smaller than Catholicism, but that, that we, 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 can, we can live alongside Catholicism without in harmony. The Irish seem to be adapting to their changing landscape. We were an immigrant people and I think that has informed our attitude to immigrants who come in here because most of us would know what it's like to work as a foreigner in a foreign country. But immigration is still new to Ireland. Perhaps the native Irish will face their real test in religious tolerance when this diverse mix of people and faith becomes larger. This is Bethwa Sharma in Ireland for Columbia News Tonight.